Early education, and lots of it, is one way to block cigarette smoking before it becomes a habit, as in the experiment with about a thousand grade schoolers southwest of Boston, as Marcus Jones reports. One, two, three, four, five, six. They landed on a bad decision. Let me read it to you. The game these fourth graders are playing at the Hanson School in Canton is designed to teach them a valuable lesson about the dangers of smoking. What is the addictive drug found in cigarettes called? Nicotine. Okay, roll your dice. Good. By correctly answering a question, then rolling the dice, students advance to Peer Pressure Parkway or onto Bad Habits Avenue. Along the way, they learn about the unpleasant and deadly consequences of lighting up. If you hit Bad Habit Avenue, you've got to go through here. Things like asthma, lung cancer, bronchitis, emphysema, smoker's cough, nicotine addiction. The Conquer Smoking Curriculum, as it's called, was developed by a group of teachers representing 22 suburban school systems southwest of Boston. The program, currently being field tested in nine schools, is coordinated by the Southwood Community Hospital in Norfolk, which specializes in substance abuse and cancer treatment. Long before the Surgeon General decided to equate smoking with other addictions, the teachers who developed this program realized it was a problem they had to deal with early in the educational process. Do you think you can learn something from this game? Yeah. What, what in particular? That um, really shouldn't smoke because it could be bad for your health. And if you can, if you smoke too much, then, then you could um, get cancer or something. Yeah. Do you think learning it here is going to help you uh, stay away from cigarettes? Yes. Why do you say that? Because cigarettes are bad for your health. And, like, you can get cancer and lung disease and stuff like that. Not something you want to have? No. We're turning the peer pressure rather than the negative peer pressure to grab that cigarette to a positive peer pressure that, you know, if you never pick up that first cigarette, then you're going to be healthier. You're going to add li years to your lifespan. Those are the, the kind of positive peer pressure things that we want to get from the kids. To back up what happens in the classroom, Activities, such as a family smoke-out night, are also part of the Conquer curriculum. But William Deutsch believes okay, discouraging young people from smoking is an effort that should involve everyone in the community, including retailers. How many times uh, have you seen a kid, 14, 15, 16 years of age, walk into a, a grocery store and buy a pack of cigarettes? It's illegal, but nobody stops them, do they? Store owner doesn't stop them, parents don't stop them. And uh, I think we as a society uh, have to begin to, uh, to look at what our laws and regulations are and enforce them. Statistics bear out the notion that the best way to prevent smoking is to warn youngsters about the risk starting at an early age. Educators now believe that waiting to clue them in when they get to high school could just be waiting too long. For the 10 o'clock news, I'm Marcus Jones.